Welcome back, Metal Therapy Crew, Lockdown Home Mod, March 28th. Before we start, let me tell you, it was an absolute pleasure to see you this morning for the Metal Therapy Coffee Club. We actually decided to change the day to Sunday at the same time, 11 a.m., so hopefully a few more people get to jump on the call. All right, so let's get through the warm-up and the workout. Today's warm-up is five rounds, starting with the 100-meter run, 10 a squats, 15 single skips plus 15 double unders, If you don't have a skipping rope, you can do 30 plate hops, or if you have a little step, into 10 lunges. To finish off with 30 seconds plank. The workout today is a five rounds of a six minute imam. Minute number one is a 100 meter sprint. Minute number two, backpack squat clean. So you're going to set up the lift position. You're going to fully extend before you drop into squat to finally extend all the way to the top. Minute number three, we have double unders. Now don't forget, if you cannot do double unders or you don't have a skipping rope, you can still do the plate hops. Minute four, you have backpack step ups. Now, if you don't have a box, uh, you could use a chair or you have a set of stairs. You can just go up and down for a minute. Minute five is a plank to push up position. So, working on the midline and also shoulders. So, just up and down from plank to push up position. On minute six, you will rest to then repeat another four rounds. For our midline today, we have four rounds of 20 Russian twists. Now, here you wanna make sure you don't just use your hands to touch the ground, but you really wanna use that trunk rotation. Then we have 20 sit-ups. Now, if you have an ab mat, you can use one, or if you want to, you can roll up a towel and put under your lumbar for support. Then we have 20 leg raises. To finish off with 20 seconds back extension hold. Today, tip of the day is all about the kettlebell and how I'm going to hold it properly into a front rack position or overhead, but also how I'm going to minimize the discomfort to the back of my wrist. Now, when I hold the kettlebell, the last thing I want to do is actually hold it in like a purse like that. But I want to do the exact opposite. I want to bring my knuckle towards my midline. Now, when I'm doing that, I get a little bit of discomfort. What I can do, I can use a sweatband. At least this way, I can train a little longer or until I get used to it. Is it recording? Yep. Today, tip of the day is about the kettlebell and how I'm going to hold it properly in a the light went off? It's okay. 